Hi guys, welcome back to Paddle and Hook. In today's episode, we finally made it to Kipta Peak State Park. Jackson and I are checking the place out for the first time, and so far it does not disappoint. The scenery is awesome, the fishing is legend, and I can't wait to get the yak in the water. Well, I came out at zero dark 30, secured some bait with a cast net, and you know, sunrise was about 15 minutes ago. I'm paddling out to the ships. We're right on a tide change. I'm hopeful that things are gonna go right. All right, so I'm out here, secured a couple of crabs. Quartered a crab up right now, and I'm hoping to drop over and see what I can bring out this morning. The marine life here is outstanding. There's a zillion pelicans. This morning there were fish breaking out by the, uh, the boat launch. There were some what looked like bluefish crashing a bunch of silver sides. It was pretty neat out here. Uh, the wind is definitely a factor. Um, I'm hoping the wind and tide work in my favor to keep me near these ships though, so I can fish the structure. Nice bite. Still got my bait. Okay. There's a ton of current ripping between these boats. I got right in a crack with a space between the two boats, thinking there's going to be some tidal flow, and that's where some fish may want to hang out. So far, so good. I haven't been able to land any fish using crabs, so I'm gonna go with the tried and true fish bites. And at least score some small guys out here. Small fish are better than no fish any day. Oh, my first cast, I'm getting smacked out here already. First cast. Actually, it's not too bad. It's pulling a little bit. Maybe it's a croaker or something. Yep. All right. First fish of the trip is this tiny croaker. Hear him? He's going back. Okay, slightly bigger croaker. Still not all that big. <laughs> it's not the first time Fish Bites has bailed out a slow morning. These guys are small, but pound for pound, they're pretty good fighters. Check them out. That's another little fella. Oh my God, <laughs> like seriously, there's your fish bites infomercial right there. <laughs> Double header croaker, oh my God, too funny. It's a shame either one of them are really big enough to keep it. Size limit for croaker, Virginia. Ooh, ooh, that one's a little better. A little bit more like it, maybe. Oh, what is that? That is not a croaker. Ah, oh, the dreaded oyster toad fish. Yeah, the bane of every angler's existence down here in the south. And one ugly sucker, let me tell you. Flapping his tail so hard back and forth, he's actually smacking his sides. But there 
They're an interesting looking fish. I can see how they camouflage really well on the bottom. Go ahead, buddy. Back from where you came. All right. Well, at least we have some variety of species. <laughs> Man, these fish bites are incredible. I don't know what they put in them, but the little fish love them. They're like croaker candy. So I just got a spot, which is kind of like a croaker, but a little different, a little shorter uh, lengthwise, but uh, taller fish. It's got this distinctive spot on it and some stripes. Uh, they're excellent. Like this size, they're excellent for big flounder. They're great bait. So I'm actually gonna put him in the flow troll here. Save him to put out for some big flounder in a little while. Or whatever else is biting. I caught about 10 more croaker before deciding to move to a new spot. I decided to switch things up. I'm going to try some jigging out here. So I have a 3 8 ounce jig head and some Berkeley Gulp. I went with the uh, pearl color 4 inch swimming mullet had decent luck with it before. Alright, there we go. Woo! <laughs> I got this nice little juvenile striper. Little schooly guy. I love it. He's not big, but I jigged some Berkeley Gulp right along the side of this um, World War II ship right here and I almost thought I was stuck on something because it hit so hard. And then after I, I kind of fought him for a few seconds, then I could feel him moving around. I was like super stoked. I was thinking he would have been a decent size for a um, speckled trout, but that's fine. I will take it. Let's get this guy back in the water. Look at that guy. Not bad. All right, fella. Thank you for biting. Woo! He was ready to get back. Croaker number 65. I don't know, but seriously, there are a ton of little croakers out here. Hey, good luck, man. Thanks. Tonight or tomorrow morning, yeah. I decided to pack things up and head to the ramp so I could spend the rest of the day with my family at the campsite, explore the park a little bit, and plan tomorrow's outing to catch some more fish. So what was forecasted to be a super rainy day where we couldn't fish at all turned out to be a slightly rainy day, and we're trying our luck. It's a little croaker though, probably. Yeah, he doesn't feel very big. Hey, this is what I caught like 20 of yesterday. That's fun though. Yep. He's a croaker. All right, can't go wrong with a minnow on the bottom and a strip of fish bites on the top. You're gonna definitely get something. Yeah, girl. Was that some drag I just heard pulling? Oh, you got it. The dreaded oyster toad fish. All right, oh pulling back. They pull like crazy though. Oh, pelicans would love to have that. What if I throw them up there? Look inside that mouth though. Gotta be careful. Look inside that mouth. Those are some funny looking teeth. Got it, I think. Yeah. He's heavy for what he is. Straight down. <laughs> He went for the minnow, all right. How, ne how neat would it be to put a mask on and swim alongside this, this ship? Wow. Just take a look around. Got him. Oh, a puffer. Aww. 
That is a cool little fish. A little puffer fish. Oceanic puffer. Oh, oh, he's puffing up. He's freaked out. So that's actually kind of stressful for them when they puff up like that. See, he's on the top. Oh, he deflated. Good, good. Oh, he reinflated. So these guys are covered in little spines. Look at his teeth. Look at those teeth, too. Look at those teeth, Apes. See how he's covered in little spines? You want to touch him? That is so that predators will not eat him because he won't fit inside. And he's spiny. So he has got the ultimate defense. Like parrot beaks. Funny, like a little beak-like tooth. Ironic, if I pull the hook out of him, will he deflate like a balloon? So a lot of people eat these. There's a little strip on their back, strip of meat that's supposed to be good. I don't want to kill a fish for a tiny strip of meat, so we're gonna... There he goes. Dude. I gotta take a pic. I gotta take a selfie with this fella. Oh, he deflated. I freaked out. <laughs> He's like, I'm like, ah! <laughs> So we've caught four fish, three species. <laughs> There's some biodiversity going on for sure. Awesome, I love it. Got a little tiny something. A little tiny something. A little head shaker. What do we got? Another sea bass. Yeah. Just when you thought they couldn't get smaller, they did. <laughs> Handsome fish though. Good looking fish right there. That is a world record. All right, guys, the all tackle record for smallest sea bass right here. Oh my goodness, like literally, he's slightly longer than my finger. This guy would be perfect for a saltwater aquarium. That's how small he is. I've always wanted to catch one of those. They get them down here. That is a ribbon fish, I think. Oh, they're so soft. I just want to look at that. Look at that oh face, God. guys. Look at those, those teeth. teeth go down. Dang. Cool fish. All right. And away he went. Those look what crazy. the heck? Did you see that? That was so cool. After a few more sea bass, we paddled back and I picked up my son Jackson so he could have a turn. Jackson just caught a fish from our boat while fishing inside a giant boat. Pretty cool. We've been getting hammered by wind. We can't hold our position long enough to fish, so it looks calm over here by these boats. We're gonna try this spot out. This area definitely is full of tiny sea bass today. That's cool, I'm thankful for them. I don't mind them a bit. Oh! <laughs> it's an oyster toad. A oh, big one. <laughs> there we go. First drop though. <laughs> oh well. All right, day two summary of fishing. We went out and fished the boats, um, the ship fleet that was out there. Early morning, we got covered up with a ton of tiny sea bass and uh, some pretty cool species variation as well you know getting that ribbon fish out there too and the puffer fish that's something we don't you know see every day uh, i took jackson out a little later on in the day he got that sea bass and then i got a you know toad fish and uh weather kind of got crappy on us so we're mostly packed up we're about to leave and head back if you like this video hit the like button consider subscribing and i'll see you guys in the next one Dude, the freaking smoke's in my eyes, dude. I know, I'm getting burned up. How's it blowing? They come to a Prima Store stop and I can't speak. <laughs>